math society now we will discuss about the transpose of a matrix here in this lecture we discuss about the two things is that what is the transpose of a matrix and the second thing is that if d is any matrix then what is the transpose of the transpose of a matrix so first of all find the answer of our first question to discuss about the transpose of a matrix and in the last of the video we will give the answer about this second question as the answer is very simple that a matrix for example if we take a matrix with order 2 by 2 is obtained by changing rows into columns and columns into rows then the matrix is obtained is called a transpose of this matrix so as if we apply our transpose to any matrix it means that the interchanging of rows and columns or swapping rows and columns of the given matrix so first of all understand the transpose of a general order of the matrix which is n by n matrix and then take examples for better understanding so before start the lecture and taking a matrix the notation how we uh, denote the transpose of a matrix for example if we have a matrix a and a matrix is always represented by a capital that so if a is a matrix then how to denote how to denote the transpose of the matrix it is denoted by as a symbol as a, a capital letter and a small t is in the superscript this is called a transpose transpose of a matrix a So now let's start it. So if we take a general order matrix that if we suppose a matrix A with order m cross n, the order m cross n means the m rows and m columns means that a matrix with m rows and n columns. That the entries of this matrix is as denoted as A11, A12, and up to so on A1n. it means that a is a member is a entry in which a first row and first column and this is a entry in the first row and second column and in this way we can that a1 n means that in a matrix that is in the first row and nth column because we take a matrix with n column order so in this way we can take the journal elements a to n and up to so on we have m rows and this this entry means that this is a entry where the mth row and first column and here is just likewise a and 2 up to so on a m m n and so this is a matrix of order m cross n so now we have to find the transpose of this matrix transpose of this matrix first of all write it as a small t used in a superscript so what the transpose says is that interchanging of rows and columns so as this is the row of this matrix but now after the transpose this becomes a column of this new matrix so we can write as a11 a12 that the elements as in the row in this matrix becomes a column now this second row becomes a column of the transpose of this matrix a a22 and up to so on a2 n and in a similar way this row becomes a column as a m1 a m2 and a m n so basically transpose is a swapping of rows into the columns if you notice that it is not a fixed thing that you always swap the rows into the column if you notice in these two matrices that column becomes a this row so the main thing is that to swap the rows into the columns or columns into the rows this is our concept of the transpose of the matrix again i repeated that to swap the rows into 
column of this transpose of the matrix or you can say in other words that all the columns of the original matrix become the rows of this transpose matrix so let us take examples for better understanding so here is a second example that this is a matrix b with order 2 by 2 matrix that there is two rows and two columns as the transpose of matrix does not concern with the order of the matrix, it just says that the swapping of the rows and the columns and we have to require to find the transpose of this matrix. So first of all, how we can represent it as B and use a small t in a superscript. Then all the rows becomes a column of the transpose matrix as 1, 3 and the second row becomes a second column of this matrix which is 4, and the third example, if we have a matrix C, uh, that we take 1, 0, 3, 4, 2, 6, 5, 2, 0 and we just suppose another row which is 1, 0, 2. So we have to compute the transpose of this matrix and the order of this matrix there is 1, 2, 3, 4 rows and 1, 2, 3 columns. So the order of this matrix is 4 by 3. So we have to calculate basically our transpose of this matrix. Just swap the rows into the columns. So we can write it as C transpose is this row becomes a first column which is 1, 0, 3 and the second row becomes a second column of the transpose matrix which is 4, 2, 6 and similarly the third row becomes the third column of the transpose of the matrix and it becomes 1, 0, 2. So here is a matrix order of 3 by 4. Just to check out the order, just swapping rows with columns that in this 4 rows and 3 columns and after the transpose it becomes a 3 rows and 4 columns. So now it's time to answer the second question that we discussed in the starting of the lecture. If we have a matrix D and we take a transpose of transpose then it becomes a original matrix. D. To justify this fact we take just example that if we have a matrix D we uh, just take any simple matrix for this. For example, we take 2 by 2 matrix and we have to calculate the transpose of this matrix. The transpose says just to swapping the rows into columns or columns into rows. So this becomes this transpose. What we need to calculate we have to take again transpose of this matrix. So taking transpose again so if we transpose this matrix, it says that just to swap the rows into the columns. So this row becomes the first column and this row becomes the second column of this matrix. So as you can see that these two matrices are same. That we obtain a matrix of transpose of a transpose is the same matrix that is the original matrix. So the transpose of our transpose get us back to where we are started.